So what we'll do in this video is uh, we'll go through how to put a scale bar onto an image captured on the uh, Motic cameras uh, in lab. Um, and this is only uh, needed if you have captured the images using the camera onto an SD card directly uh, as opposed to running it through the Motic Images Plus software. Uh, the reason why we need to add a, a scale bar manually in this instance if you captured using the camera onto an SD card uh, is because the calibration file that we use for the software is only uh, useful if the image is captured within the software as opposed to externally by the SD card. And so essentially what we have here is we have two images. Uh, one is the actual image of the Egeria leaf, for example, and another uh, image is is an image captured of the calibration slide uh, at the exact same magnification as uh, this image of the Egeria. And so the important thing here is that you use two images. One is your an image of your actual sample and the other image is of uh, something on a slide at the same magnification uh, which you know uh, the length or the measurements for and so in this instance what we have here is uh, each one of these little bars each one of those little bars in this calibration slide image is actually 0.01 millimeters apart and so using that information we can actually draw an accurate scale bar onto our original image and so what we'll end up with at the end of this tutorial uh, is something that looks like this and so essentially what you have here is uh, we use PowerPoint because it's a bit easier and what we have here is the Egeria image with a properly labeled and prop, uh, proper length scale bar uh, put onto the image. So what we'll do is uh, we'll start up a blank PowerPoint file. Uh, I like using PowerPoint for this because it's nice and easy. PowerPoint can uh, manipulate images very easily. You can draw lines and put in text boxes and stuff uh, pretty efficiently using PowerPoint. So what we'll do is we'll actually drag in, we'll go back into our sample photos and what we'll do is we'll actually drag in uh, these two files into the PowerPoint window. So we'll drag and drop. What you notice is that the PowerPoint uh, actually opens these images up uh, very, very large. Uh, and so the first thing to do is to actually shrink them down. And so in the Picture Tools uh, tab, we have the Format tab. And what you want to do is you want to actually uh, shrink these guys down. And so you want to set the size over here, shape width, set that to about 20 centimeters. Uh, then hit enter and what that'll do is it'll actually shrink the images down. They'll probably be hiding in the corner somewhere so just scroll up and then bring them down until you can see them on your actual slide. Okay so this is the Egeria in the foreground and if we drag that across what we can see is we can see the uh, calibration slide in the background and to make the calibration slide come to the foreground we click onto that we then right click and then we select the bring to front option. Okay, so now we have uh, the known measurements and we need to now uh, determine um, the scale bar using these known measurements. So in order to do that, uh, the way I like doing it is to go up and draw a line and determine, for example, how long um, it is in PowerPoint units. Uh, it is, for example, between this long line and also this line. Okay, to do that, we go up to the Insert uh, tab, and then we go to Shapes, and then we want to insert just a simple line. Okay, so we click on the line, and then what we want to do is we want to drag uh, a new line that goes all the way from here, all the way across there. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to make uh, this new line perpendicular to... Uh, the calibration and the way to do that is just drag it. If you need to set um, the length of the line and PowerPoint feels like snapping the length of the line to some invisible grid, uh, essentially just hold down the Alt key, ALT on your keyboard and then that'll allow you to uh, freely draw the line wherever you want. So let's do that and draw a line like this. I'm just going to make this line white so that we can see it better. Okay, so what you can see is that this line goes from, uh, this line in PowerPoint goes from this line on the calibration slide to this line on the calibration slide. And these two lines, because they're separated by essentially 10 of these divisions, 
each division is 0.01 millimeters, which means 10 divisions is 0.1 millimeters. Okay, so it's actually 0.1 millimeters between this point here and this point there. Okay, so the next thing to determine is uh, how long in the PowerPoint units this is. So if we go up and we double click on this line that we just drew, uh, this should open up the drawing tools uh, tab. What we'll see here is that there's actually a representation of the size, uh, the length, and also the height of this line. And so you see this line is slightly diagonal, and so this slight diagonal line um, has a length and also has a height. Okay, so the length of the line is 4.95 centimeters and the height of the line is 0.15 centimeters. So the actual length of the line uh, is just um, going to be 4.95 squared plus 0.15 squared and the square root of that answer. So let's pull up the calculator and try that out. Okay, so the length of the line is 4.95 squared plus 0.15 squared and using Pythagoras' theorem uh, the length of that hypotenuse is just going to be the square root of this and so essentially we've got 4.952 being the length of that line and so essentially it's almost at the 4.95 mark. Okay so what this tells us is that uh, 4.95 centimeters in this PowerPoint image is essentially equivalent to a real life size of 0 0.1 millimeters. Okay, 0 0.1 millimeters is equal to 100 micrometers. Let's just write that down. Let's go to insert text box. So, 0 0.1 millimeters is equal to 100 micrometers. Okay, and that is actually the uh, distance between this line, these two lines. Okay, so in order to actually draw the scale bar onto the image, now that we know that 4.9522 uh, centimeters on PowerPoint is equal to 100 micrometers in real life, what we can do is we can delete, select our calibration image, delete that off, and then now start working with our actual biological image. Okay, so let's uh, delete this line that we created before as well. We'll insert a new line that we'll actually use for our scale bar. So to insert a line, go to Insert Shapes and select Line. And this time we want the uh, scale bar line to be perfectly straight. And so in order to force PowerPoint to draw a straight line, we actually hold down the Shift button on our keyboard. And then we draw a line of unknown length and what we'll see is that PowerPoint has drawn a blue line here that's uh, perfectly straight and in order to uh, make the line visible against this uh, background let's make the line white and so in order to change the format of the line we double click on it this should bring up the drawing tools format tab and to set the uh, color of the line we essentially want to come down here to shape outline uh, click that and then we can select the color let it be white and we also want to make it a bit thicker so we can see it much easier and so again it's in shape outline come down to weight and uh, let's make it quite thick so six points thick okay so this line uh, if we go again to our formats tab what we see is the line is currently 8.69 centimeters long now that is longer than what we need it to be uh, what we need it to be is we need it to be 4.9522 centimeters because we know that 4.9522 centimeters is equal to 100 micrometers. Okay, so to change the length of this line, we essentially come up here, uh, we click into this box, and we type in 4.952, and we hit enter. And you can see PowerPoint just summarizes this, uh, makes it down to uh, two decimal points only. Okay, so let's drag this uh, line into the corner so it looks a bit prettier. What we know now is that this line on this particular image represents 100 micrometers or 0 0.1 millimeters uh, of the actual biological sample. And so what we want to do now is we want to come and insert that uh, data. And so we 
uh, go up to the insert tab we want to insert a text box so we select the text box option and then we click somewhere above uh, the scale bar okay so what we want to type now is essentially 0 0.1 millimeters or because 0 0.1 is not a very nice number we want to type instead 100 micrometers so to type that 100 space to type the micro symbol uh, you can either just use the U um, so type UM or a bit trickier what you can do is you can actually hold down the ALT key on your keyboard and on your number pad type in 0181 and that will actually enter the special symbol for micro and so what you see here is uh, we've got 100 micrometers being specified here in the text box but because the image is quite dark we want to make the text box uh, the text in the text box white and so to do that we come back to the home tab and then here in text color what you want to do is you just want to specify uh, the white color and let's make the font a little bit bigger so it's a bit easier to see 32 sounds good uh, and then we'll drag that until it gets to the middle of that scale bar and so what we have here is we have the scale bar uh, this represents 100 micrometers in uh, the actual biological image um, and so what the scale bar allows the, uh, the, the viewer to understand uh, is a sense of how big these chloroplasts, these cells, these cell walls are actually um, in a biological sense.